Naruto, ten fallen ninja who need to be reincarnated for one last fight. These Naruto characters had some unfinished business to take care of but died too soon. If they were brought back, who would they fight? The history of the shinobi in Naruto is built on sacrifices. Over the years, countless shinobi in the story have fallen, and the loss of their lives has gradually led to a more peaceful shinobi world brought forward by Naruto Uzumaki. Interestingly, dead shinobi can be brought back to life in Naruto, as seen during the Kanoha Crush saga and throughout most of the Fourth Great Ninja War. Many fallen shinobi who fans didn't get to see much of could. Thus, return for one last bout and light up the battlefield once again. 10. Asuma Sarutobi would love to fight Choji at his best. Asuma Sarutobi was the leader of Team 10 and quite easily one of the strongest Jonin Kanahigakur had in Naruto. Unfortunately, Asuma met his demise at the hands of the Akatsuki quite early on in Naruto Shippuden. He reunited with Team 10 when he was reincarnated during the Fourth Great Ninja War, and thanks to their effort, he was sealed away but not before helping unleash all of Choji's potential. Now that Choji is an adult, Asuma would love to see how far his student has come. 9. Tobarama Senju would help to fight the Kara. Tobarama was the second Hokage of Kanahagakur and one of the most pragmatic ones the village has seen in all its years of existence. In terms of skill, he was a known genius and he could fight even the strongest of shinobi. Given Kanoha's current struggles against the Kara, Tobarama would feel obligated to lend a hand. Although he cannot beat them himself, his plethora of techniques would certainly be helpful. 8. Nagato Uzumaki would fight Naruto Uzumaki one last time. Nagato Uzumaki was a student of Jiraiya, one of the legendary San Nin. He also had quite a special relationship with Naruto Uzumaki who he chose to put all his faith in after the attack on Kanoha. If reincarnated, Nagato would want to ask Naruto if he brought peace to the shinobi world and how he achieved it. Since shinobi connect through shinobi, kumite, or traditional sparring, there is no better way for them to connect once more. 7. Abito Uchiha would fight the Atsutsuki clan. Abito Uchiha is the man who was responsible for the Fourth Great Ninja War, but toward the end of it, he switched sides and tried to atone for his actions. He used what was left of his life to protect the future of the shinobi world and fought against Kagaya Atsutsuki. If Abito is ever reincarnated, he'd want to continue from where he left off and fight against the remaining Atsutsuki who mean harm to the shinobi world. 6. Niji would enjoy a fight against Hinata Hyuga. One of the brightest shinobi to have ever lived, Niji sacrificed his life during the Fourth Great Ninja War for the sake of Naruto and Hinata. Before dying, he entrusted the safety of Hinata to Naruto Uzumaki, and if he's reincarnated, he'd want to see how life has turned out for Hinata. Having sparred together ever since they were young, Niji and Hinata would trade blows as the latter shares the story of her life and that of her children. 5. Minato Namikaze would fight I. Known to be one of the fastest characters in the entire story, Minato Namikaze was the legendary fourth Hokage and the father of Naruto Uzumaki. Minato had quite an intense rivalry with I, the fourth Reikage of Kumogakure. If Minato was brought back, the two would reignite their age-old rivalry and see who the better one of the two is as a Kage. 4. Hashirama Senju would fight Jigen. The first Hokage of Kanahagakur, Hashirama Senju is known to be one of the strongest characters in the entire story. Thanks to the wood-release jutsu that was unique to him. Hashirama was a force to be reckoned with, even for the likes of Madara Uchiha. In case Hashirama was ever brought back to life using Edo Tensei, he'd waste no time and go fight Jigen. The leader of Kara to protect the shinobi world. 
3. Madara Uchiha would test himself against Ishiki Yatsutsuki. The legendary leader of the Uchiha clan, Madara Uchiha, is known to be a majestic shinobi from the Warring States era. In the Fourth Great Ninja War, fans saw what he was truly capable of as a ninja. If reincarnated, Madara Uchiha would certainly want to test himself against the strongest characters alive, such as Ishiki Atsutsuki, and see if he can defeat and surpass them with his own might. 2. Sakumo Hitaki would fight his son Kakashi. The White Fang of the Leaf, Sakumo was a tremendously skilled ninja and known to be stronger than even the legendary San Nin. He made a great name for himself in the Second Great Ninja War. But saving his comrades over choosing to complete a mission brought disgrace to his name, and he eventually took his own life. Sakumo left Kakashi to grow up alone and never got to see his son become the splendid shinobi that he was. If he's ever reincarnated, he'd want to test his son's skills personally. 1. Jiraiya would want to fight his pupil, Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto's mentor, Jiraiya fell at the hands of Pain, one of the strongest antagonists in the Naruto series. He is the biggest reason why Naruto is as successful as he is today. Unfortunately, he is no longer there to see Naruto live his dream out, but if he were to be reincarnated, Jiraiya would enjoy a fight with Naruto Uzumaki to see how far he's come. It goes without saying that he'd be proud of him regardless of the result of the